A week ago, I had the honor of competing in a professional race. I know what you're thinking, Charlie, is it even possible for you to fit into a full-size car with those bulging muscles and that imposing frame? What kind of car could even hold you? A monster truck would struggle. What did you race? We raced go-karts, the finest engineering humanities ever achieved, and I was an absolute monster behind that wheel. I posted a picture on Instagram with me holding the championship trophy, alluding to the fact that I may have won the race, and I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, expect some big things from my racing talent in this video here. The competition consisted of the finest racers Tampa had to offer, at least the ones that weren't addicted to bath salts and meth. All of the competitors were YouTubers, so it was a little content creator cup, and it was held at a professional racetrack for indie cars at the St. Pete Grand Prix. God rest its soul, coronavirus took down the indie cars, but luckily we got to race those go-karts days before the quarantine and mass pandemic happened. So while the indie car race at St. Pete never went on, we were able to grace that road with the go-karts. This was put on by a company called HMG, Human Media Group. It's a company I'm a part of. I want to get that out there right now so that way people don't think that I'm hiding anything. I don't want this to be some scandal like CSGO Lotto or some shit with some shady nonsense going on. HMG is a company I started with my friends to help YouTubers that were getting fucked by both YouTube and advertisers. So it's something we've been doing for a little while that we're passionate about. And we thought it'd be fun to put on this big little go-kart race for online creators in the area. Here's a shot of the go-kart track from the bleachers. We weren't allowed to use drones because the IndyCar track was right next to the airport and wouldn't want to cause a catastrophic plane accident or something. So the best we do is the bleachers. The go-kart track is located on the actual IndyCar track at turn one. Like I said, the actual track was never used because coronavirus fucking KO'd it, just canceled that shit. So I don't know what the actual IndyCar track looks like right now, probably something out of Fallout or one of those like Olympic pools that get abandoned after the Olympics. All I know is that go-kart track probably still has my glorious grease spread all across it. So there I am in the jersey, so when you're watching the footage from a distance, make sure to look out for number one because I'm an absolute fucking animal out there. It's probably not going to be easy to miss me, to be honest, you won't have to look very hard because I came fucking steamrolling in there like I was playing Mario Kart and just grabbed Bullet Bill. Now, I've never really ridden go-karts, maybe once or twice in my life, but I didn't know that it felt like that. I actually felt like I was riding a fucking mechanical bull while drunk. That shit had some real get-up-and-go to it. That, that shit zoomed a little bit. They said they go up to 40 miles per hour when you put pedal to the metal, just let it ride wide open, but I swear to God, that bitch was going at least 80. And the seat was so uncomfortable, it would have been better if they just set a cactus down and had you just kegel that. That chair fucking hurt so bad, it felt like sitting in broken glass. Every time you do a turn, your ass cheeks would just start fucking blasting against the seat, which was made out of the hardest plastic known to man. It was really uncomfortable in that seat, and every single time I hit turn one that you just saw right there, I drifted that shit and nearly spun out every time. Let's take you to my GoPro here, as you can see those big meaty arms, those fucking paws about to put in some big work. I started the day behind Juke Squad, but I don't stay behind him for long. I pull away almost immediately using my expertise behind the wheel. I'm a strategic genius, a tactical wizard when it comes to go-kart drifts. I look, oh, look at that beautiful turn. I had a philosophy out here when I went to go-karting. I said, you know what? I'm going to show no mercy. I'm going to put my ass in their ass and take a shit. I wasn't going to hold back because I really wanted that big fucking trophy. Here you can see the first victim of the day, the track claimed its first life, crashed right into the corner, couldn't recover for a few seconds. As you can see I'm starting to pick up ground a little bit now, about to engage the turbos, the afterburners, and finally take first place. We're getting back into the middle of the pack here, the real meat. I'm playing real aggressive, the condom came off, went raw and no rubber, pulled ahead of Juke Squad, taking the inside from him, and I'm just pulling my way towards the front. I'm seeing red right now. 
All I want is that fucking first place. I'm trying to pass, but he's setting some good blocks on me. He's boxing me out. I granny turn it just to play it safe. I was gonna hit a fat drift, but I didn't want to risk flipping over and fucking barrel rolling into the wall. Having some type of, like, explosion occur. So I played it safe. I'm giving up the inside like a true fucking rookie. Up ahead, man hits a banana peel, spins out, and I can't react fast enough, so I just have a fucking disaster into the safety barricade. The first catastrophic accident of the day, and I'm pretty sure I gave myself a concussion because after that I just couldn't really see straight and I drive like shit. That was the equivalent of getting hit by a blue shell, I drop fucking 10 places and I end up in dead last as a result of that. To be expected, it was a huge accident, completely shut down the go-kart for a minute, and made me pretty wobbly and nauseous. As I'm starting to come to yet again, getting some fucking smelling salts into the helmet, I hit a fat drift letting people know that these screeching tires mean that I'm back in it and I'm coming for scalps. The bleachers were jam-packed all ex in excitement to see me race out here and I wasn't going to let them be disappointed, I was going to put on a show. So another fat turn one big drift, beautifully executed. I'm starting to make up ground yet again. I'm catching his draft right now. Sucking on his farts from behind, but not for long. I'm ready to pull ahead. I said, I've had enough of being in ninth place. We had ten racers, so ninth place kind of blows asshole. I said, you know what? I want eighth. I'm hungry. You smell that? <laughs> Smells like eighth place with Charlie's name on it. But unfortunately, I couldn't squeak out the eighth place finish, and I got ninth in the first round here. Here's my ninth place finish from the bleachers. It's worth noting that it was around 85, 90 degrees out during this time. I was in sweatpants because I couldn't wear my normal basketball shorts or else that'd blow up my thigh and have my nutsack flailing in the wind. So I had to dress accordingly and unfortunately by putting on sweatpants and in that helmet, it was absolutely brutal in terms of how hot it was. I'm not usually the kind of guy to make excuses, but I actually was in rough shape going into the race. So what we had was a qualifier a best lap time and then the actual race. In total it took probably around 45 minutes. All of it in the helmet, in the heat, and I hadn't eaten that day because I I don't understand why I thought this, but at the time I thought it'd be a good idea to go on an empty stomach so A, I wouldn't have to take a shit at any point, and B, I'd be a little bit lighter for the track. Neither of those things clearly helped me at all and all it did was make me even sicker. So what ended up happening is after the race I fell over and puked in a toilet in the bathroom. So, you know, you can criticize my driving all you want, but you can't criticize the heart. I really let it all hang out there. I put it all on the line, full nuts to butts, wasn't holding anything back. And, uh, yeah, uh, it felt like shit. Here's the GoPro footage from the fastest lap time competition. Here you were competing to have the best lap on the track to figure out your placement in the lineup for the actual race. I am sucking fat asshole at this, and you can see a very clear difference in my driving technique here. I'm not playing as balls to the wall, I'm playing it much safer, much slower. I'm not fucking crashing into barricades or ramping it off of a parked tow truck GTA style. I'm just playing like a pussy and I still somehow find a way to spin myself out. It's, it truly was a disaster in the qualifying lap challenge and I actually posted the slowest lap time out of all 10 racers. Probably the slowest lap time the entire go-kart community has ever seen, I imagine. It was around like a 50 second was my best, I don't know, it was terrible. Terrible and embarrassing, but I am happy to say, from the 10th position in the final race, I really popped off. Let me show you the actual race footage now. Alright, I didn't notice this till right now, and I don't mean to blue ball anyone, but it turns out I don't have all of the final race GoPro footage. I don't know what happened, I might have accidentally hit it by accident at some point, but all I have is a few seconds here. Uh, I'll go ahead and paint a picture with words for you. I started from last place, because I had the slowest lap time, so I started in 10th position, and I was able to climb all the way up to 7th place, which gets me absolutely fucking nothing except for maybe a pat on the back. Yeah, I feel bad about the GoPro now not being able to show the last race, but I'm not lying about 7th place, by the way. You can check everyone else's video. I really did finish 7th place. I know it's hard to believe after seeing that fucking pitiful display of driving, but hey, it's true.
I got 7th place, which I'm pretty proud of, honestly. I may not have taken home the grand prize championship trophy, but I consider myself a champion because I was able to make it to a toilet and puke instead of puking in my helmet and drowning in the vomit during the race. So, I think that's what really matters. If you want to know who won the race, it was Corey Funk by a fucking landslide. It wasn't even close, really. The guy is like an actual professional go-kart racer from the get-go, so the odds were stacked against me in the first place unless I fucking, like, spiked his tires or something. Uh, I wasn't going to win. I'm just happy I didn't finish last. If you want to know who finished last place, it was it was Andrew. Andrew came in last place pretty handily, so fuck yeah, good work, Andrew. And honestly, I probably would have been ninth place if I didn't get lucky with two people crashing during the last the last lap of the final race. So I'm I'm gonna take that seventh place squeak out. I didn't take home the trophy. Uh, I I know you've all been misled. I've really pranked you good there, but I was pretty close in seventh. It was a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So yeah.